the Crafty Casa. My name is Janelle for those of you that don't know me and welcome to my house. So this is a fun one. So today I have for you guys a really easy way you can dress up your kitchen a little bit using stuff you probably already have. You can pretty much use about just about anything. I try to incorporate uh, stuff that people would already have at their house. So I try to using plates, trays, a cake stand, baskets, whatever you have, you can make this work. So sometimes kitchens can be really, really boring and it's one of those areas that I feel like a lot of us neglect, especially like the kitchen sink. And this is gonna be a really easy way that you can dress it up. I wanna show you five different variations for, uh, I think like five different uh, decorating styles. If I didn't really hit your personal style, you can definitely incorporate your own touch to it and dress it up however you want to. These are gonna be ideas that you can um, add to you, your kitchen sink, well, beside your kitchen sink. And you could definitely use some of these in your bathroom sinks too. And it's just, it's really easy. And it, like I said, you can use stuff you probably already have. I just wanna take a moment to say uh, thank you for those of you that have been sharing my videos. I really appreciate it more than you know. Uh, don't forget to invite your friends to like my Facebook page. Don't forget to please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Share the video. I love you guys. I hope you guys have an awesome Friday. And don't forget that I will be seeing you here next Friday with another video. I will try my best to get these videos uploaded every Friday. Sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Technology is not my friend, but I'm trying my best. Uh, so I will see you guys next Friday. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and a blessed week. Don't forget that I love you guys and I will see you guys soon. Bye. All right, so let's get going with the very first idea. You will need a basket. I had this one with my coffee and creamer by my coffee area, but I'm just gonna simply show you an idea for this. You will also need a candle holder. I recently painted this one, so it's freshly painted to a chalky white color, which I actually love way better than just the wooden color it was before. You will also need a centerpiece or flower arrangement. I made this one using Dollar Tree stuff, so make sure you check out that video if you haven't already. Then I've had this uh, soap dispenser bottle for a while. I purchased this one from Marshalls for like, I think three or four dollars, and I just thought the bottle was beautiful, but the soap itself smells really, really good, and I just thought the bottle was beautiful and uh, I'm gonna be using this one. And this one's one that I already had here by my sink. Um, so everybody was always complimenting it. But yeah, I got this one from Marshall. And the very last thing we're gonna use is gonna be a lantern. I found this one I think at like Ollie's. Uh, and if I'm not wrong, it was a dollar. So uh, I just put a little candle light in there and it's gonna go on top of our candle holder. All right, and that is the finished look. It is rustic and it's elegant. It's the perfect combination. I mean, this one's just using stuff I already had. So don't think you have to go and buy stuff. You can definitely use stuff you already had. All right, so for our second option, I am gonna be showing you how to use one of these trays. I purchased this one from Dollar Tree. So, and they're actually pretty good quality. They're, they they feel pretty good. So um, if you don't have one, they go get one from Dollar Tree. You will also need a candle. I have this one, um, and I think December I purchased it from Ross and it was only three dollars and I'm gonna try to keep this one all silver so um, you could definitely use this one like in a bathroom because it doesn't necessarily have to stay in the kitchen so you'll need a candle then I had this artificial succulent here which is very pretty and I love the silver and I bought this one from Marshalls too and it was pretty inexpensive it was probably like four dollars 
So we'll place this one in the center. And then you want to add your soap dispenser. This one's silver and it was actually pretty inexpensive too. I don't remember where I purchased it, but just any, any soap dispenser will do. And the very last thing for option number two is going to be this little sign which I purchased from Dollar Tree and I showed it to you guys in my um, haul video. And this is what it looks like once it's finished. You could definitely use this in a bathroom too, or for a smaller kitchen like mine, this is perfect. All right, so let's get going with option number three. I know what you're thinking, I don't have a tray, and I don't have baskets, but I know you have a plate, and you can use any plate. If you have just a plain white plate, or one of these, I got this one from Dollar Tree, and it's very pretty, but you can use any plate. So no excuses for this one. And you always want to have something green around the house. So this one also has this jar with some of these artificial leaves that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And this one I purchased from Hobby Lobby and it was in my last, in my last um, haul video. So we're going to place it from here. And another easy way to just make any area a little more elegant is to add candles. And you know I love candles, this one's another scented candle, which is beautiful. It says adventure on it and um, I got it from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to place this one there too. Another thing you might want to have beside your sink is a little jewelry holder. I'm going to use this one too. And just because I thought it needed something else, I'm just going to add this little uh, decorating piece. And this is the finished look. Simple, elegant, and very, very pretty. Just using a plate, like I said. Alright, that was it for option number three. And now we're gonna move on to option number four. This one's just a little more summery, a little more colorful. And I think this might be my favorite and it might be maybe everybody's favorite. I'm really trying to make uh, something for just about every decor style. So if you don't find one that you like, please adopt any of these ideas to one that fits your personal style. All right, for this one you will need a cake stand. If you don't have one of these, I actually found this one at Goodwill for like $2 and it comes with a glass lid too, but um, we just need a tray for this one. And this is the one that I've actually had beside my sink for about half a year already. And so you can just simply change the stuff on top of them. They're really, really pretty. And if you don't have one, I will be making a video soon on how you can make your own using Dollar Tree stuff. So. Um, be on the lookout for that. So we'll need the uh, cake tray or cake stamp. Then you will need a candle holder. Any candle holder will do. I just happened to find this beautiful pineapple candle holder. Uh, so we'll need this one there. The next item will definitely have to be a candle because we can't not put a candle on here. So you will need a candle. And this is a very, very pretty color. I don't know if I've told you guys, but this is the color I'm trying to incorporate more around the house, along with cream and gold and silver. So um, if, you don't, if you're not using this color, then just simply alternate the, this color and uh, adapt it to your own taste. So you'll need a candle. And just because I felt like it needed more color, I'm gonna be putting these measuring cups that are just to die for. I purchased these from um, Walmart and I'm just, I'm just going to set them right beside the candle holder. The next item will be a soap dispenser, whichever one you have. I just happen to have this gold one to kind of balance out the yellow measuring cup. So I'm going to set this on the other side. 
and just because I felt like I needed a little something else I'm gonna be adding this colorful towel I just simply rolled it up and I purchased this one from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna set that one in the center and this is what it looks like up close very summery very colorful no need to add greenery to this one because it's already uh, pretty colorful and you really don't need any greenery here all right for the last option i'm going to be giving you guys this is going to be for my rustic girls you know i have a combination of rustic decor around the house so if you are rustic and this is your type of decor, then this is going to be perfect. You will need a basket. This is a flatter basket and it's really, really pretty and it's pretty big. So this is not ideal for a smaller kitchen like mine, but if you have a larger kitchen, then you can definitely use a larger basket. Or if you have a smaller kitchen, you can always use a smaller basket. I just happen to have this one. I purchased this one from Goodwill and it was $2. So we will set this one first. All right, then we're gonna set a large candle holder. This is the second one uh, that looks like the first one, but this is a larger one. So we're gonna set this one on, uh, on top of the basket. Then we're gonna be adding some greenery. And this stuff I purchased from Ikea. The greenery was only like four or five dollars. And then um, this uh, metal container was only like 50 cents. All right, so you guys know I painted those candle holders and I also painted these owls. I had a set of three owls, but they were all different colors and I just really wanted them to match a little more. So I painted with that same cream chalky paint and we will only need two for this one, but um, we're gonna be using these two and we're gonna set them on the side of the candle holder. All right, then I'm gonna be placing a silk tray uh, if I'm not wrong, I bought this one from Dollar Tree, so very inexpensive, but we're going to set that in the center. And I will also be placing some of this soap. This is handmade soap that I bought at the farmer's market, so we're going to set that on top of our uh, soap tray. And then a very optional item, just putting a more neutral um, towel in there to kind of make everything just go a little better. So we're going to set that in the center. All right, and this is the final look. Very rustic and very simple. Like I said, you don't have to go and buy new stuff. You can just try to find whatever you have already at home. And this will definitely add just a little touch of you in your kitchen, which like I said, we're always, we're always neglecting. At least I'm one of those that I never thought I could make the side of my sink look any prettier, but this is what it looks like and I'm super excited.